Hello to everyone, I am Indurok, and today I am playing more Psychonauts, and I was actually thinking of just stop, of just uh, ending my uh, recording session here, like after the last video, but I decided, you know, I'll just record one more. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do that now, I'm just gonna go do, break everything, break all your stuff, whatever, oh, bouncy, okay, bouncy. Bounce, bounce, bouncy, 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 bed. I want that brain, you dick. Yes. I hear you Wait a minute, actually. Oh, balls, damn it. Okay. Well, I got another brain. This one through that helmet will never know. Ah. Stop doing that already. It's weird and just weird. Piss. All right. We we ah way. Better give him a loose brain to Mikhail ASAP so we can protect him. Hmm. Don't throw in the towel just yet. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Hang on a minute. Okay, well, it turns out that people are showing up here for my grandpa's birthday today, so... Okay. You've still got a few more hands in your mask? And another Chaps. one. What is up, eh? Okay. okay. Into Napoleon. Hey, oh, okay. Um. Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eyes may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got a stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Lobotto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. I thought I had a spy. Where'd I put my dang spy? Okay. Eh, look at him. Excuse oh, me, move, sir? Mate. My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. Mr. Bonaparte. Shh. I only think I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. Uh, I like your jacket. I see this. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and all. Can... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. Enfant de la patrie! Actually, I'm gonna go give those guys their brains. Right now. Boop. Hey, 
Why don't you just take a little nibble of that and see if I can taste it too? I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. And while I'm there, I can probably just make another uh, challenge marker. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Two. Sixty-three. Yay. Okay. Anyway, let's go give those kids their brains. Because... <coughs> yes! I got a brain! Good! Now... Okay. And so that's why, even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. So, as you can imagine, we are in some bad trouble. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's time something bad happened to our fine coach. Well, let me tell you what our plan is. Please, you have your plan, I have mine. But say no more. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best. But preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya. The end. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna go get on the coach's radio and call for help. See, now that's an excellent idea. Why can't everyone be so helpful? Yeah, I modified the antenna, so now it broadcasts straight into outer space. And that's why finding your brain in particular was my highest priority. You know, I'll bet if JT wasn't so distracted, this wouldn't have happened. He's probably with that prissy little show pony right now. No, actually I think her mind's on other things at the moment. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll go see what's up. One of us at least should be guarding the sleeping quarters. Agent Cruller? What is the current situation? I'm ready to go back into the field. Okay, let's see if I remember exactly where you were. Well, at least I'm right at the beginning of that area. Déchargé! <coughs> boop. 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 Oh, that's where I came from. Ah, whatever. Just go up. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't... I just... <laughs> wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The Matador! The Bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go! Ah! That is why I am here! Chained in more ways than you can see! A prisoner of art! A prisoner of art! 
Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Well, at least this, okay. I thought this guy was gonna be a big meanie butt man. What am I supposed to do? Ah, you try my patience, Rasputin. Oh, you just know my name? I didn't even introduce myself. Hey, how's that painting of Dr. Lobato coming along? You know, I'll deliver it for you as soon as it's finished. Silence! I am conceptualizing. Can I... Whatever. Oh, okay, from the desk of Dr. Calvin Lobato, DDS. Please be advised that I've taken measures to protect my patient crisp and whitehead from any and all invasive psychic procedures. Goody for you, dingus. Even if your name is Coach <clears throat> Oleander, and even if I am currently working with you to take over the world, that doesn't give you the right to recruit away my elevator operator with your little mental tricks. Darn. Eh, look at I swear it. that... I swear that that mouse was moving on its own. Oh, well, I might as well. Sacre bleu! I have been hit! Goody! They don't suspect a thing. Either that or they just don't care. Oh, oh, th th this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. How do I get out of here? What's this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! I hate your stupid bridge. This is how much I hate you! Ha <laughs> ha! Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes. Now I shall go torment this poor peasant over here. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, now look. The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore. I quit. Napoleon, you win. No, we don't forfeit. We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic Memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Haha, <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long-legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors... Is there a way out? Man, this salt shaker is totally in the way. I'll bet the real Napoleon never had to worry about stuff like this. Hang on a minute. Hey, don't touch my pieces! That is cheating! How do I get out of here? I don't want any part of this right now. Not yet.
Oh, whoa. That was weird. I just became smaller. Oh, jeez. Oh, lag. Don't lag. Okay, then. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. I can't storm Napoleon's stronghold today. Too weak. Oh. Okay. Want me to call a doctor? No, I'm not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach, you know. An elite force such as I require an elite cuisine, I'm afraid. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good takeout. Only the best, young lad. I am a Frenchman, and anything but the finest French delicacy might bruise my palate and leave me unable to storm anything, save the vomitorium. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, how... Yes. Am I just going to be small for the rest of this? Okay. Oh. Oh, that did it. Where was that place that he was? Word to the wise, give up while you can. Fred's gonna win. <laughs> I can burn wood with my mind. But well, that would be how you say, uh, cheating. Whatever. Uh, much faster with this. Oh, screw you, thing. Okay. Last one that I need. Okay. Uh, frame rate. Frame rate. Uh, come here, you little okay, snail. Snails, it's time to serve the cause. Yay. So be it. Okay. truly a time of war then we are ready we can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide we are after all armored warriors and this is our land too we may not be fast but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness for we created ourselves from our hearts lead us onward and let us eat holes in the leaves of napoleon's garden yeah right on Yes. Oh, jeez. He's mad. Oops. Okay. I think I know what I need. <laughs> I'll just replace that. Where is he again? Nah, Over better there. not. I should only feed my own army. What are you talking about? Nah, better not. I should only feed my own army. How do? What do I do then? Hey, are you feeling any better? If we storm Napoleon's stronghold, we win the game, you know. Beat Napoleon in everything. Oh, that sounds like a grand plan, sir. But not on an empty stomach. What? I'm sure you understand. Hmm. Well, how do I... Uh... 
I don't, I don't get it. You guys ready? Yes, we're ready to fight for the fatherland, to fight nobly on the field of battle. Our shells are tough, and soon we will cover the enemy with our silvery trails. Okay, just remember there are many different ways to serve your fatherland. How do I do this then? Maybe I have to talk to the other people here. Okay. Oh, it's you. Okay. Out oh, bullet shopping. Back in a few. <laughs> okay, actually, yeah, I'm gonna stop this video right. He Are you serious? I'm gonna stop this video right here, and. Uh, I'll continue later on. So that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.